In this video, we are going to add top flowers. For now, we only have bottom flowers. But first, let's run our game and see the current problems that we have in game. You will notice how flowers are too close. So that means that the spacing between flowers is not eight as we specified it. So there is a little bug or a little problem when we position our flowers. So instead of positioning flower to world with it minus flower with it, we need to put plus so that every flower is out of the world when it appears and then it moves from the right side to left side. Let's restart our game and see that we are going to have bigger spacing or bigger gap between two flowers. And now you can see there is a bigger gap which is eight world units. And since camera is zoomed out, objects are small. And you notice how they disappear when they go off the screen. Because camera is zoomed out and all objects are smaller, we can see them on screen disappearing and appearing on the right side while they disappear on the left side. So for now, we won't remove zoom. We will remove it at the end of this video. But first, we need top flowers. So how are we going to add top flowers? Our flower will actually represent the pair of two flowers, which is bottom flower and top flower. But first, we need height offset. So height offset will be constant. That will represent the offset on our height. So let's create that constant. Private static final float height offset, which will be minus 20. And this is also in world units. So that height offset will be the Y position of bottom flower. Now in constructor, of our flower, we are going to initialize y equals to mat utils random and the biggest value that we can reach with a random will be height offset. So when the flower is positioned at minus 20 world units, we will be able to see small stalk of flower and head. But for top flower, now we need another pair of circle and rectangle for collision detection. So we are going to refactor our code. Instead of calling first circle collision circle and collision rectangle, we are going to call them bottom collision circle. So just highlight this collision circle and press shift F6 and we can rename all at once. So just refactor bottom collision circle. And Andrew Studio will ask us, do we want to rename getter method as well? And we can press yes. The same goes for collision rectangle. So bottom collision rectangle and press yes. Now we need for top flower, top collision circle and top collision rectangle. So let's create those variables. Private final circle, top collision circle and private final rectangle top collision rectangle you will notice they are red because they are final and we need to assign or initialize that variable which we are going to do in our constructor so first the top y of our circle of top circle we are going to calculate that value let's create float top y which will be bottom collision circle y plus flower gap so that is the gap between top and bottom flower we are going to create that constant so let's create that constant private static final float flower gap will be 20 world units you can change it to 10 or to 14 to make the gap bigger so let's continue initializing our top variables. So top collision rectangle will be new rectangle 
with the same X position and top Y. The same for with it and height, we can use the same collision rectangle with it and collision rectangle height. So collision rectangle with it, collision rectangle height. Now we need the top collision circle. So top collision circle will be new circle. For X, we need to move it a bit up. So X actually to right, not up. So X will be X plus collision rectangle half with it. So this is the same as with bottom collision circle, but height will be a bit different. Y position will be top Y. In bottom collision circle, we are defining it or initializing the Y position of that circle differently. And again, collision circle radius. That is the radius of our circle. Now we need getters in order to draw those two. So let's create those getters. We have getter get bottom collision circle and getter get bottom collision rectangle. But also we need to update those two when we change position. So in update collision circle, we need to set new X to our top collision circle. Since Y is never changing, we can remove it. We are only changing the X position and Y is always the same position. So top collision circle, set X, and we are going to set it to the same X. So instead of copy pasting and duplicating our code, we are going to create local variable, float new X is X plus collision rectangle half with it, and just pass that new X to set X method of our circles. New X. So that is what we need to do. For rectangle, it is the same. We just need to call top collision rectangle, set X to X value. In case that you want to move your flowers up and down, then you need to update also Y position of top collision circles and rectangles and bottom collision circle and rectangle. Now let's create our getters. So get top and I understood you will automatically offer get top collision circle and top collision rectangle. So we can just press enter and generate those methods. Again, get top and generate get top collision rectangle. Now we need to draw those circles. So we are drawing them in game screen inside our draw debug method. We are drawing the bottom flower. Now we need to draw also the top flower. In order to do that, it is basically the same approach. So I will just put a comment bottom. And after that, we are going to draw top flowers. So top circle. Instead of calling the first flower collision circle, we are going to call it bottom collision circle. So shift F6 and just refactor your code. The same goes for flower collision rectangle. Again, shift F6 and bottom collision rectangle. Now we need circle for top and rectangle for top. So circle top collision circle will be flower get top collision circle rectangle, top collision rectangle will be flower, get top collision rectangle. And now we just need to draw them using shape renderer. Renderer circle, top collision circle X, top collision circle Y, top collision circle radius with 30 segments. Renderer rect, Top collision rectangle X, top collision rectangle Y, top collision rectangle with it, and the last parameter is the height. So top collision rectangle height. 
and that is all we need to do in order to draw our top circle. So let's run our game and see that we actually have both flowers in game. Both flowers will all move automatically. As you can notice, some of the flowers are too small, but that is because our camera is zoomed out. So we see smaller world. Now we can remove the actual zoom. So let's go to show method and remove these two lines, camera zoom and camera update. Now, if we run our game again, we should be able to see the whole flower, including head and stock. And now this game is basically really playable. There are some issues with some flowers that they appear a little too small. So we are going to fix that right now. In order to fix this problem, all we need to do is to go to flower class and make our collision rectangle height a bit bigger. So let's go with 25. If we restart our game, we shouldn't see that problem anymore. So now you can see that this game is practically playable, even if there is no actual collision detection, but the prototype is almost finished. So you can play around and try different values for gaps or for the flower sizes or the flower gap between bottom flowers. What I mean by that is the gap between two flowers on X axis and other gap is gap between top and bottom flower. In the next lecture, we are going to start finally with collision detection.